Hi there, friends, and welcome to another edition of We Are the Church. This daily ministry of encouragement is brought to you by the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. Happy Thursday, everyone. Pastor Bill here. Thanks so much for stopping by today and spending these couple of minutes together while we are encouraged in the strength of the Lord. Today, I'm going to be reading from Psalm 77, verses 11 through 13. In the first 10 verses of this psalm, the psalmist is uh, putting out a pretty uh, serious lament for uh, the fact that things are just going haywire in his life, and uh, he thinks maybe God has forgotten him. But as you're listening today, I want you to notice how easily the psalmist slips in and out of talking about God and then talking to God and then turning back and talking to his reader again. This is what he says in verses 13 through uh, 11 through 13. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your works and wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and I will meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way is holy, O God. What God is great like our God? It's a great question to end on. But today, I want to key in on the word remembering. It's becoming a lost art in the world that we're living. We're witnessing an entire generation that's being uh, seduced by the lure of the immediate, being called into uh, what's happening right now. And their faces are constantly in front of a screen of some sort, and their ears are constantly bombarded by noise. Their uh, mooring lines have become untethered and they're drifting away from land on whatever tides of uh, immediacy have called to them next. Remembering is becoming a lost art and remembering is so important to our faith. Again and again, the people of God remember. They remember, they rehearse their memories. They tell their stories. They remember again, they teach them diligently to their children and to their children's children. They think about them when they leave the house in the morning, when they come home at night, when they rise up and when they lie down. Remembering is important because remembering connects us to something older and more ancient than ourselves. Now, remembering as it is used in the body of faith is not remembering in order to dwell in our past. But it turns out that our hope for a future springs from our connection to a treasured past and to remembering the faithfulness of God in every generation. And so we remember. It's becoming a lost art. I want to encourage you to cross generations together. If you're a younger person listening to this, find your grandparents and ask them the stories, the important stories of faith. And if you're an older person, find some younger people and tell them your stories. They're not just interesting to you. They're reminders to this world and to the entire human species that this particular generation is not the first or the last to walk upon the earth. And so I uh, encourage you to remember, and uh, let's go to prayer. We thank you, God, for memories that are older than our own lives. We thank you for those things that reach to us from past generations and somehow inform our consciousness, even from people that we never met personally and only hope to meet in your presence. God, preserve the memories that you have given to us. Help us to rehearse and recall them. And help us, Lord, to share them liberally with others. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, I thank you for letting me dwell on my memories for a minute. This is a place of remembering for both Judy and me. As we come close to our 44th anniversary, we are so blessed to have so many memories. And the beautiful memories we share in this particular place in God's earth are triggered every time we come here. Do what it takes, friends. Trigger those memories. Talk to one another and teach our children. Remember our three rules as you're going out to face this Thursday. Do no harm, do all the good you can, and stay in love with God. And I will see you soon.